Hi everybody, meteorologist Joe Thompson with you here from the NBC 24 Weather Center with an update to your forecast on this final day of October. Happy Halloween. Unfortunately, the forecast does not look good. It's going to be gloomy and it's going to be pretty nasty out there for the trick or treaters Friday night as well as for high school football players and fans. There's a large area of low pressure that's been developing across the northern lakes. You can see all the precipitation that's been developing around that area of low pressure. It's sliding in to northwest Ohio and southeast Michigan. And this area of low pressure is actually going to be dropping south as we go through the day. And that's going to keep this shield of precipitation parked right on top of us. It's not particularly heavy rain but we do expect uh, rainfall off and on as we go throughout the day. It's going to make things pretty damp out there. You can also see on the northern side of the system there is changeover to some snow as colder air is wrapping in to this area of low pressure. They could see a couple of inches up in the upper peninsula of Michigan. We're not expecting any accumulating snows, but that said, some of us could see our first flakes of the season as we go into our Friday evening because we do expect a little bit of changeover to some snowflakes as we go through the night. So let's zoom on in here and time out the precipitation for you. We'll start this at 7 a.m. Friday morning. Again, the rainfall will be making its way on in and be sitting right on top of us as we go through the day. Still do expect some off and on showers. Once again, not particularly heavy rainfall, but fairly persistent in nature and those chances will continue right on in to Friday evening. Now, if you think you can take an umbrella out as you go trick or treating or to high school football or any other outdoor plans you may have, may not work because the problem is as we go into the late afternoon and especially e the evening hours, the winds will become much more of a factor. They'll be howling out of the north gusting in excess of 30 miles per hour. So any umbrellas you have, if they're not very strong, they could very easily fall apart and become destroyed. You can see at this uh, time, 7 p.m., this model tries to mix in a little bit in the way of some snow. Again, temperatures will still be above freezing. These will just be some wet snowflakes wherever they do form. They'll melt on contact with the ground, but don't be surprised if you see a few flakes flying out there as we go through Friday evening. Showers will continue through the first half of our Friday night. Once we get to early Saturday morning, most of the showers will be making their way out of here. However, we're going to keep a chance going through the first half of our Saturday across north central Ohio for maybe some lingering snow showers coming off of Lake Erie. These will be lake effect in nature. So over by Cedar Point, Sandusky, even extending down to Norwalk and maybe as far south as the Tiffin area, you may see some lingering snow showers Saturday morning into Saturday afternoon. The Toledo metro area though and down to BG, Finley and places westward will be dry for Saturday. However, it's going to be cold and the winds will remain strong through the day Saturday as well. We're not going to get much relief from those howling winds. Rest of our Friday, though, calls for off and on drizzly showers. Temperatures on the cool side only reaching the mid 40s, and you'll start to notice those winds more as we go through the afternoon as well. Out of the northwest, starting to gust to around 20 miles per hour once we get to around 4 or 5 p.m. And again, those winds will only get stronger as we go into the evening hours. They'll be gusting up to 30, even 40 miles per hour possible out of the north, and it does not look good for the trick or treaters between 6 and 8 p.m. We are going to keep those cold, gusty winds in place. The showers continuing as well. This is about the the same time we could start to mix in a few of those snowflakes. So if they want the candy. They're going to have to earn it tonight. Trick or treating probably maybe just be better to stay home and watch a scary movie because it's going to be nasty out there. And again, we do have the final night of regular season high school football and it's going to be nasty for those games as well. The wind certainly will be a factor. Windy again for Saturday with those lake effect snow showers. Highs only in the lower 40s. So you got to factor in the wind chill. Make it feel like it's only in the lower 30s Saturday afternoon. The winds will ease up as we go into Saturday night, and don't forget you do have an extra hour this weekend as we fall back and set those clocks back an hour before we go to bed Saturday night. Not as windy for Sunday, but still very cold. We're going to wake up to temperatures in the mid-20s Sunday morning, highs only reaching the mid-40s. Thankfully, we're back to average for Monday. A warm front will move through and temperatures back to seasonable levels in the mid-50s. Still tracking a chance for rain on Election Day Tuesday. Right now, though, it looks like the rain is going to be coming in for the second half of the day, so we want to avoid that rain when you head to the polls might be better to go Tuesday morning. Some of that rain may carry over into the day on Wednesday. Brief cool down Thursday back into the 40s and we may track another chance for some wet weather as we head into the following weekend. But one thing is for sure for our Halloween and through the upcoming weekend, it's probably best to be indoors because it is not going to be pleasant outside whatsoever. Have a happy and safe Halloween.